just before he left, Jeremy Henry, and he said, Robin, he said, it's your, it, it is your time to shine now. I was like, yeah, okay, but because I was playing as a number 10, sometimes on the wing, he said, no, 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 he said, you have to take over my role. Great to see you, man. Good to see you. You good? Yes, very good. Um, you? First of all, welcome to BT. I'm so excited that you're here. You've gone from a hero to a colleague, so today's a good day for me. <laughs> yeah. So this is what I wore. We basically got a collection of shirts to tell your life story. So we're just going to go through some of your career Big highlights and we're just going to have fun. So yes. I've got on the classic Feyenoord, yes. but for you, I've got um, 2014 World Cup. Yeah. Yeah? Do you mind popping it on? No problem. I see you're still lean and fit. You ain't got that retirement gut yet. <laughs> no. My uh, daughter said uh, literally one day, after my last game, I was like opening my shirt and she was like, ah, daddy, you still don't have a belly. <laughs> I was like, no, daddy is retired one day. <laughs> I'm giving you a year. Belly will come later. <laughs> no, but as you was putting that on, I wanted to know, like, when you was playing, how did you like your shirts to fit? Did you like it tight? Was you loose? What, what was your yeah, preference? Uh, a little bit tighter, but not too tight. But back in the day, in, in the youth at Feyenoord and later as well as a pro, the shirts were too big. Mm. But it wasn't the time like now where you have social media and uh, everyone checking you out. And yeah. So we didn't really bother to be fair, we just put it on and four sizes up. And played. Robin, we're going to start with like you growing up. Obviously that Serie A area in the 90s, yeah. Burkamp. Yeah, some, exactly. Some if I see this shirt, I think about Dennis Burkamp. If I, did, if I see this shirt, I think about uh, Frank Rijkaard, Ruud Gullit, Marco van Basten. This is in their prime, they were wearing this. It's a beautiful shirt. Yeah, yeah. You can wear that out now. Yeah. So your, what was your first World Cup, 94? Yeah, the one I've, I've been watching because I'm from 83, so that uh, was 94 in America. Yeah, so we got this one here, America 94. With, so, um, who's your favourite player in that World Cup? From World America, you yeah, had this defender with the big beard, yeah. uh, Alexi Lalas. I think <laughs> it was similar. It's beyond my time, but out of these two. Yeah, the is, but this the is the real deal. <laughs> this is the real deal. Roberto Baggio with his tail, his ponytail. Romario. Yeah. I think he was still playing in PSV back then. Yeah, yeah, or he was just about to go to uh, Barca. PSV here, Romario number nine. Classic. Yeah, Romario, Ronaldo. Ronaldo as well. Yeah. Any memories from this shirt in your first season? I was so proud of just to see my name and a number at the back of the shirt yeah. that I wore it. I went to the yeah, city centre. I was walking <laughs> up and down, <laughs> up and down, like I'm a football player. You know? But so before, that, before that moment uh, of you getting the name on your shirt, did you have doubts that you'd ever be one and be like, have your name? No, on I never had shirt? doubts to be fair. Yeah. I just had to wait long because uh, out of all the guys from my team, I was the last one who got the chance. So I was like, hang on, I'm scoring the goals, I'm playing well. It's taking too long. Wow. And then uh, you never doubted yourself in that moment. No, I was like, okay or uh, I, I will play soon here, or I have to move. So it was a little bit of a tricky moment. And once I got my chance, I had a good game. And I was lucky, you need luck as well. Because some guys were injured, suspended, yeah. all sorts, which was good for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was happy, <laughs> so I got my chance. So beautiful, I want to move on slightly yep. to 2004, yeah. when you joined the Gunners. Mighty Gunners, yes. Now you, you joined them just yeah. after they won the Invis Invincibles. Yes. So now I want to know, like, putting on the, did that come with pressure putting on this shirt? Like, no. No, no pressure. I didn't have pressure. Honestly, I was like, I was so proud. I was like, yes, I'm going to the Premier League. And then everyone in Holland said, yeah, but you're crazy. You have to compete with Perez, with Dennis Burkamp, with oh, Henry. Really? Yes, you are oh, well prepared. Yeah. Dude, I'm here for you, boy. Exactly. <laughs> But I was like, no, I, I'm not competing with them. I will learn from them. Yeah. That so, was my uh, So intention. playing with all these great players, Omri you got, I got Perez here, Reyes yeah. is here as well. Yeah. Like, what did you learn from these guys and, and these shirts? Like, it must have been a crazy apprentice stage for you. Yeah, exactly. It was, I, I was like a kid in the sweet shop. I was so happy. And then at, at one point, the uh, manager came to me because I was still very young. I was playing in a, not in a mature way, which is sometimes good, but sometimes you have to know you always have to find the balance. So Asen came to me, he said, Robin, why are you not a top player? <laughs> I said, I don't know, tell me. He said, no. <laughs> he said, have a look. He said, just look around. I was like, okay, hang on. I can take a little bit of him, a little bit there, a little bit here. Just, I was like very open-minded and, uh, and I was not in a rush. But I was just so open and ready to learn from, from the best players. And I need to ask you, yeah, if you yeah. actually know 
what you did to this club here. Uh, yes, oh flying God. for a bit. You flew. <laughs> Listen, I was there. I'm from oh, Charlton, yeah? yeah? Uh, you okay. destroyed our town that day. Yeah. <laughs> we, got, <laughs> we got relegated that year. We haven't been back since. Uh, uh, and yeah. I'm blaming you. Mm, <laughs> it's my mistake. I'm so sorry. But that it was nothing personal. Right? Oh, yeah. But that celebration was so, like, so, like, so passionate. Like, what yeah. was your feelings that day? I was lucky there because I wasn't a yellow. And if you jump on the, on the fence... It was in this one, huh? Normally, in that shirt, exactly, yeah. And normally, you get a second yellow for that. Oh, you can shit. even, if, if you look at the video, you can even see a fan. He's like, oh, he's off, he's off. <laughs> but I wasn't. Uh, you like, scared, like, trying to hide from the ref? <laughs> Same thing. I was like, oh, is this okay? Yeah, the ref saved me. But that was, that was a big year for you. Obviously, um, Wenger called that the goal of the lifetime. You got the yeah. crucial equaliser against United when Henri scored the winning header. Yeah. Would, you say this, would you say this is, like, the year you found yourself in the Arsenal shirt. Yeah, especially that goal. Sounds a bit weird, but that was my first big goal against a, against a big team. And that moment when, when I hit it, I was like against Van der Sar, he was on goal. I was like, yes. But at the same moment, on the, the way I landed, I you broke my metatarsal. Yeah. But the first two months really got me through it because of the goal. I was like, okay, yeah, but I, 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 I can do it, you know? It's proof that I can score against the big guys. Now that year was like, um, the end, the last season for Omri. Um, did that provide more pressure for you in an Arsenal shirt to become the main man? Yeah, but I didn't realise it straight away, to be fair, because Jerry came to me uh, just before he left, Jerry Omri, and he said, Robin, he said, it's your, it, it is your time to shine now. I was like, yeah, OK, but because I was playing as a number 10, sometimes on the wing, he said, no, 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 he said, you have to take over my role. I said, like, I'm not sure, I don't think I'm a striker. I can mm, play really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he said, no, 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 he said, you should, you should go for that. He said, be the main guy and work hard for it and you have it in you. I was like, mm, OK, thanks very much. Then uh, I sent, uh, because I asked the coach, I said, Wenger, I said, uh, are you going to buy a striker or not? He said, no. I said, I think you should because we're a little bit short there. <laughs> he said, you are my striker. Ah. I said, boss, I said, I'm not <laughs> sure if I can do it. <laughs> I like to play in behind. I like to touch the ball. He said, no, you can do it. OK, then the next season after you become number 10, you have your best season for Arsenal. 30 Premier League goals. Yeah. PFA Player of the Year. Yeah. Was this your most confident you've ever felt in a football shirt? Ooh, good question. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I've, uh, yeah this year and the year after. Uh, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. We're going to get there, yeah. Yeah, so this year, yes. And this is as well, this is a whole process. Uh, I, I think that year I scored 37 goals, but should have been 40 or 50. Okay, then what followed? <laughs> huge. So we're, yeah. we're dying to know, yeah, from your yeah. mouth, how you ended up in the United show. There, there was first talk of, uh, um, like, after seven years, eight years, sometimes you feel you need a different yeah, experience. And then um, I ended up having a decision uh, of City or United. Yeah. And then I um, had the best feeling with Ferguson, with... Uh, Rio, with uh, Fidic, with Gixi, Scorsi, all these guys, Carrick. Um, I, I just thought, okay, uh, it is a big challenge. And, and, and I realized, like, okay, if you make a move like that, you will not make everyone happy, you know? Um, but, but I stood by it, and I'm, that's how I am, that's who I am. I yeah, made that choice. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of my Arsenal time, and I'm proud of my Manchester time. And I'm very happy that, uh, that we won the league that year. Mm -hmm. Because that was the target. So why did you choose number 20? Yes, another good one. When Berbatov was about to leave, but he was still there. And he had number nine. So Ferguson said, OK, you can or wait a couple of weeks or take number 20 or 21. Uh, and then René Meulestein, the first team coach, he said, 20? I said, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a round number. He said, no, man, we are here for the 20th league. Ah. To win the 20th. I said, yes. It's fate. Yeah? Right, that's beautiful. Yeah. So then, you're a lucky man. Let me tell you why you're a lucky man, yeah? You've yeah. played with the two GOAT <laughs> yeah. managers yeah. of the Premier League. I love what the were long the, yeah, What were the differences and like, how, much, how different were they and how much did you learn from them both? No, I learned a lot from them both. And actually, you can't really compare them because manager, uh, Ferguson is, is like the best manager. He just keeps everyone happy. He makes sure that everyone is happy. You know, it was, it was like sometimes he was tough, sometimes he was very nice. But 
everyone knew, like, there was always a sort of a 10, 15 percent fear. <laughs> like, okay, okay, hang on, you know, <laughs> if he was nice, is, is, there, is there something wrong? Is yeah, there yeah, something yeah. happening? Why is he so nice to me? Yeah. And that is good. Yeah. If you have that as a manager, that is very good. And how is this guy? No, fantastic. He's like my football uh, father. And uh, th 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 that is how I saw him, that's how I uh, see him now, and that's how I see him the rest of my life. He gave me the chance as well to make mistakes. And that is very important uh, for a young player. Um, so I'm, I'm in big debt to him. So that year, winning the league at United, when you see this Villa shirt, yes. talk me through your emotions of that goal and that day. Manchester United, that the year before, lost it in a very yeah. awkward way, in the last dying oh, second. Guerrero. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so everyone was really like, like burned, like, okay, we have to take it now. We got an early goal. And the second one was, I think, the one you were meaning, oh, the volley, God. yeah. Yeah, oh, that was that was good. Crazy. Yeah. But then the next game, I have to ask you yeah. this. So you, as you're wearing this away shirt, yes, you yeah. have to go back to Arsenal. I didn't like it. And they gave you a guard of honor at the Emirates. Yeah. Like, how no. was your feelings? Was it awkwardness? Like, how did you feel about it? I didn't like it at all. Not one bit, to be fair, because they were my friends, you know. And it was tough for them. It was tough for me the first year. And um, I was at the back, and you could see my face yeah. if you look at the picture. I was not enjoying it at all. I just wanted to get it over and done. So I want to focus on two moments of your um, Dutch career. First of all, I'm sorry, but I have to bring it up. 2010 World Cup final. Yeah. Against Spain. Yeah, no, I don't mind. Yeah, this, <laughs> how, this... how, even though even though you lost, but how special was it to put on your colours? I could have done better there. So it was a little bit, a bit of a mixed feeling, but I was like, I don't care. I just mm. want to win this World Cup. You get one chance of that. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I, will, uh, I was defending, I was uh, taking headers out. And then, um, it went to extra time, the final. Mm, yeah. We had the chances, we had the better chances. And then uh, in the 116th minute, it, it was supposed to be a corner for us. They yeah, didn't yeah. give the corner. Yeah, okay, it's afterwards, yeah, but that can happen in a, um, in a in game. game yeah. But it did happen, it was our corner. They didn't give it from goal kick, they scored. Yeah. That's tough, that's yeah. tough, yeah. But then the, the kit you're wearing, and then the, against the same team in the next World Cup, yeah. is my favorite goal of all time. Uh, yeah. yeah. You literally looked like a plane taken off at Heathrow. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I've like. never done you that before. You were flying. You were actually flying. <laughs> yeah, like. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, going down yeah. was a little bit uh, bad on now, my nose. The whole build-up, like in Holland and the media, and everyone was like, you have to play against the European champions, against the world champion. They, they, are, they were the best team for the past six years. And we had a very young team. We only had a couple of uh, guys a little bit older. So everyone was like, ah, you will lose 8-0. If it's 5-0, <laughs> you did a great job, and stuff like that. <laughs> And then we end up beating them, 5-1. Yeah, exactly. So that was like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> and then we ended up being third in the end, yeah. losing on penalties. It's beautiful. OK, last question, yeah? So, Robin, you're in a burning building. Yeah. You have to save two kits. <laughs> it's two kits, yeah? It's a good so one. the first one like is it. based on your most valuable memory in yeah. a football shirt. That's your first one. Yeah. And then the second one is strictly on how the kit looks. Jesus, this is difficult, man. Do you have one or two or no, three got, or four? No, you got one. And, and, the, and the whole place is burning down. Yeah? The whole place is burning now. We're burning. No, I, I will go for the final one. Yeah? Yeah, because this is where it started. Ah, oh, your debut final. Yeah, right? this was my debut. So, I, yeah, without this, then... Nothing happens. Yeah. OK, so the second shirt is the kit that looks the best. Oh, yeah, I will go here. This is, this is just... Those two, yeah? Romance, yeah. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I go for this one. Badger? Yes. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Can't be mad at that. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, Robin, thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate thank it. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. thank you. Yes, guys, another What I Wore episode in the can with the legend RVP. For more videos of What I Wore, click up here. To subscribe on BT Sport YouTube channel, down there.